He says he was treated as an outcast by the moms at the playground. ABC's Abby Boudreaux has the story. The movie, What to Expect When You're Expecting... I picked up the wrong baby from daycare. ...got laughs from Facebook product manager Tom Stocky until he decided to become a stay-at-home dad. Was it harder than you thought it would be? I think, yeah, I mean, it was so physically demanding. While his wife worked at Google, Stocky took a four-month paternity leave to care for their one-year-old. She would find new things to try to eat new things to try to stick her fingers into. There were lots of dangers looming on all sides. Another looming surprise, snarky moms. There were just insanely low expectations for me as a dad. Someone's like, oh, that's so great that you're bringing your daughter to the grocery store. But then I was like, well, of course I am. Stocky vented on Facebook about negative perceptions of moms who work when dads don't. One stranger cracked, it's too bad you can't earn as much as your wife so she can be the one to stay home. What made you want to write this? I felt like there were a lot of things that I hadn't heard talked about very much and some of the different challenges and, and nudges that kind of push dads away from the homes and into workplaces in the same way there are all these nudges that are pushing women away from workplaces and into the homes. At the beginning, to be honest, I missed my, my job here at Facebook and so I would say it was about after about two months, I started getting some of the benefits of all the work that I was putting in with my daughter. Stocky witnessed his daughter eating solids and taking her first step. Today, he's back on the job, leading the launch of Graph Search, a new way to find people and places on Facebook. I kind of miss being with her. Nothing will replace like that, that four months that I had of full time with my daughter. That was amazing. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreaux, ABC News, Menlo Park, California. Okay, let's talk about this now with our parenting expert, Dr. Logan Lepkoff. Welcome back. Thank you. So, so this guy, something he was really looking forward to, four months off, and he gets these comments out on the playground. It's really unfortunate. We've, we've created this system where we've given women the freedom to kind of push back against traditional gender roles and, and work at home versus working you know, at home or outside the home. And we should give men the freedom to do the same thing, but we still kind of forget that you know, men have choices, too, in all of this. And he made the choice, and he would make it again. Uh, I take it. In addition to getting some of these snarky comments, and it's a little tough out there, be treated like an outcast. He also got some praise. He did there. get some praise. We want to encourage. We do want to encourage it. And look, there is no one definition of what family looks like. I mean, That's that is the right. best thing about yeah. being on the playground these yeah. days. <laughs> there is no one makeup of family. You know, whether it's you know genders or single parents or caregivers. You? If you want happy and healthy and fulfilled kids. We need to have happy and healthy, fulfilled parents. And sometimes that means their dads at the playground, right. and sometimes their moms, and sometimes they're neither of them. Sometimes there's two moms, right. and sometimes there's two dads. Right, right. that's yeah. so right. important. Right. And, and we're certainly seeing that more and more mm -hmm. these days. And, and when you let that really ugly side of yourself out, when you make a comment like that, all people really have to do is look at you and go, oh, that. Was, yeah. We was, should be doing yeah. that. And I we, think we have to ask ourselves, would we tolerate that behavior <laughs> in our kids? Because I'm the first to yank my kid out of the playground if they ever acted right. the way some of those parents are, are behaving. At the exactly. end of the day, that dad is getting great FaceTime with his new baby yes. time. He can never get back. So, How would you, What would you say to fathers preparing for paternity leave? I would say you have a right to be at that playground picnic table. And you should demand that right. And more importantly, acknowledge the, the so-called elephant in the room. Say you probably don't see a lot of me, but be a, a co-parent's friend and ally and be a model for all the other dads that are going to take paternity leave too. I love seeing dads on the yeah, playground. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. a lot of those women were jealous. I, mean, <laughs> exactly. I do too. I do too. <laughs> Thank you. Great to see you. Nice Thanks. to see you too.